What's up guys, today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. We're just gonna pick one lure out of this, the one that I think is gonna catch a fish first, but we'll go through all of them and see if I can open this. We're gonna see if we can catch something, but let's see what we got here. Got some hooks, Prism 5X, they're like rainbow color hooks. A chatterbait, a red chatterbait, I don't know. I've never used a red one. This is a little different. It's not the jackhammer. Cross-eyed and it's got a little brush guard on it. We got Z-Man, little fluke stuff. Egg-Zone, Craws, Lunker Hunt, Square Bill, it's a flat side. And then we have a Weston, kind of like a, a Whopper Plopper it looks like. It's called a Twin Turbo. As weird as it sounds, we might throw this first since it's first thing in the morning. The top water should be pretty good right now. And then you got your little pamphlets and stuff like that and a little sticker and stuff. And then you got a little thing that tells you how much each lure costs. But if you want to get your first box, you can get it for $10 if you use my code, Chris Mitchell, I think it is. I don't know, I'll put it up on the screen. And then I'll leave a link down below if you want to get your first box. But I think we're just going to use that Whopper Plopper style bait, see if we get anything. Fish just jumped around in front of me. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. If I don't get anything on this, then we'll switch to something else. I don't know. Got it tied on. Weird pink color. Might attract some fish. I don't know. But it's got like two little props on it. Like a little whopper plopper kind of deal. Makes a pretty good sound. A lot different than like the choppo or whopper plopper. So that little bit of sound might be a good difference, you know. Uh, I'm trying to use this lure in different ways to see if I get a bite a certain way, but I don't know if there's any fish around here. Fish just busted behind me. I was just there. Should we go back and see if we can get that one? Not what we heard earlier, oh, but we got one. Oh God, I'm scared. Kind of nipped at it and didn't really take it. Ow, ow, he spined me. He spined me, little guy, on that little whopper plopper style thing on this little dude here. There we go. All right. Goodbye. Keep throwing this for a little bit more and see if we can get anything else, but eh, whatever. I was hoping it wasn't a gar because it kind of like sucked it in like it was a gar. We'll tie this chatter bait on. It's a red one, but we'll try it. And we'll use the X zone little crawl thing as a trailer. So we'll do that. Other than that, I could probably flip that crawl onto the semi grass and maybe get something. You know why I think they put the red in here is because it's more of a spring color for like Northern lakes. Not really Northern, but Northern of here. And they probably have a surplus of them. I'm trying to get rid of them. Doesn't mean it's worthless right now. I could use it later on in life if I don't lose it today. Cross-eyed chatterbait, red with the egg zone, little crawl trailer thing ah i ripped off the claws of my trailer i don't think this thing's gonna work anyways you know what i'm gonna go try something with that square bill i think all right let's try this little crawl the egg zone crawl I'll just put it like a texas rig let's see what happens ah, i had one i think oh what else can i do with this thing Probably flip in the Kissimmee grass, but I don't even think they're in the Kissimmee grass, really. Let's go try it, I guess. I got nothing else to do. Oh my God, I had a bite. <sighs> I don't know what it was though. Oh my God. I had another bite. I didn't even check to see if I still had them or not. I just yanked. Again, I had another one. What in the world? Little guy. Little guy flipping the grass with that little crawl. There we go. Goodbye. We'll keep flipping for a little bit so we can get something bigger. But all I'm doing is just flipping this little crawl alongside the Kissimmee grass. I have a half ounce tungsten on with a four aught worm hook. Four out worm hooks, probably a little bit too much for this crawl, but that's why I had on. 
for my ridge worm. So we'll just keep it that way for now. That fish must have hit it on the fall. So I went to pick up again and it was moved over to the right. And that time I checked to make sure I had him before I go and set the hook. Oh my God, dude, this is a giant. Get out of the grass. Oh, ah, dude. Look at this thing. Dude, this juggler hook just stayed pinned to her so good. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. I didn't bring my scale, but I brought my board. <laughs> Dude, that's like a seven. I have no idea, but 23 and a half. All right. I'm debating if I want to go ask those guys on the boat if they have a scale. We'll probably just let it go. I, don't, I can't get over to them with the fish in the net like this. Um, I'm just gonna have to bring a scale next time I come out. That's just, just the way it is. But it's 23 and a half. I'm thinking a seven or an eight, probably seven and a half. That's a good fish, real good on, I'll show you in a minute, but on that little crawl, this little crawl here, the egg zone crawl from the mystery tackle box, just flipping this grass edge. And you're gonna, her, let me get one last picture and then let her go. That's a nice one, dude, 23 and a half. Oh, there she goes. Wow. <laughs> I went to go grab her. I went to go grab her again just to get her revived and kicked off. She just took off. I think we're going to end it here on a high note. And my map, my map is all in Cuba. I was on that X zone little, it's called a finesse crawl. And I had a half ounce tungsten on there and a four aught juggler worm hook already on there for the ridge worm. And I didn't feel like retying to something small or anything. Just like that, where it's like tech exposed just like that. And I flipped in there. I didn't really feel it fall or anything. So I went to pick up and I saw it move, set the hook. Bam, that big old fish. Insane. That's probably my best bass for mystery tackle box. So I'm just going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the bottom, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>